Hello there. I wanted to provide you with some video resources to help you navigate Zooniverse for our observational lab. Zooniverse is an incredible website, but it can be a little overwhelming, so I thought I would guide you through some steps. At Zooniverse.org, you will have the opportunity to contribute to live scientific research. So you will be entering data um, into someone's research project, into someone's scientific study. So you're contributing and moving science forward, which is really exciting. So you're going to click on projects up here in the top left. And then it's very important that on, not on all screens, you will see this scrolling bar down at the bottom. So make sure that you scroll so you can see it. These are just their featured projects, okay? You want to pick a project that's related to the current science topic that you're in. So if you're in life science, it's going to be things like nature, medicine, biology, climate, <clears throat> um, social sciences. If you're in physical science, it's going to be more like physics, space, etc. Okay? For simplicity's sake, I'm going to click on nature. Because it's, and then you need to make sure once again to scroll. And here you'll see little boxes that represent each of the projects. They have icons or images that can help kind of tell you what they're about and titles, but you can also click on them and then it pulls up a little description to tell you more about it. Each one of them is really unique and really different. So you need to kind of cue into things that interest you or that you like or you're just curious about and click on it and just kind of look around, honestly. I'm gonna click on this one because it's kind of interesting, but I also wanna tell you there are two or three other pages here with lots of options, okay? <clears throat> Hello, Snapshot Serengeti. I'm gonna click on that one because that one catches my attention. Okay, then you'll get to, they all look a little different. Um, so you have to be prepared. You're gonna scroll down to where it says get started, okay? And click there. Then there's gonna be a tutorial that's gonna teach you what you need to know to, to help actually contribute to this study. They might have to teach you how to identify seals or how to classify aurora. So you actually need to read and go through <clears throat> the tutorial to figure out what they expect you to do. For example, we'll be looking at images and identifying animals. So please read them and they'll help you narrow it down and just do your best knowing that multiple people will look at the images so you don't have to feel bad if you mess up. You're just going to do your best. It's fun, it's exciting, let's go. So in this one, I'm gonna identify, I need to find zebra, and then I have to count how many. There are one, two, three, four zebra, four. What behaviors am I seeing? I'm seeing them eating, okay? Are there any young present? No. When I'm done with all my submissions, it'll say identify and then I'm done, okay? I just contributed to science. Isn't that exciting? I hope this helps you feel more confident, more comfortable with using Zooniverse to contribute to citizen science.